Well, hello everybody. Welcome to day one of the 40 day challenge. Those of you with the glucose monitor, if you're having trouble putting it on, just let me know. It's the directions are in the box. I also did a video of how to put the thing on. Just make sure that you put a piece of kinesio tape over it. I like the kinesio tape because kinesio tape is designed to stay on skin for a long time. You could use another form of tape, but you're going to probably have to keep retaping it. I have plenty of it at the gym if you guys need it. So guys, simple instructions. Number one is um, try not to change your eating behaviors at all. And I want to elaborate on this just a little bit. And I'm going to give you an anecdotal story. So this just happened. A friend of mine uh, who has a lot of things going on in his health sent me blood work of before and after. And in only three weeks, he stopped eating meat and he showed me how dramatically his cholesterol dropped as well as his triglycerides. Now, you guys have heard me stomp my foot about um, you know, eating meat, make sure that you eat meat, eat protein, et cetera, et cetera. So to an untrained eye, right? It's easy to go, oh my goodness, look at that meat. Look at what it did to your cholesterol. Now there are some people where saturated fat really does raise your cholesterol. But what I asked him was simply this, hey, over those three weeks, did you lose weight? And he goes, yeah, I lost 12 pounds. Now guys, if you, if you lose 12 pounds over three weeks, that's the reason why your, blood, your cholesterol was high is because you needed to lose that weight. If you lose 12 pounds over the course of three weeks, I promise you all of your blood lipids will improve. But then as I, probed him further about his diet. I said, okay, so you lose 12 pounds. I want you to understand that when you lose this much weight, it's going to improve, improve your lipid panel um, tremendously. But tell me what you have been eating. And guess what he kept in his diet? He kept in his eggs. He kept in his butter. So the, so the saturated fats were still there. And it's only the saturated fat in the meat that's going to raise the... Uh, cholesterol. So there's no reason per se for his cholesterol to come down um, because his his uh, um, cholesterol from the eggs that he was eating was equating to the eat meat that he took out of his diet. So he was eating more, in other words, he was eating more eggs and less meat. And point being, guys, is that it's the, it's the weight loss. Now, why do I say that? His perception was he didn't change anything in his diet, but he did. He lost 12 pounds. I say that because you guys are monitoring something right now. As soon as you monitor something, it doesn't matter what this is shown longitudinally. As soon as you say, say, I am going to monitor my carbs, meaning I'm going to eliminate them, or I'm going to eliminate my fats, or I'm going to make sure I eat more fiber. As soon as you take a marker on something, you are automatically changing your behavior. You're more conscientious of what you're eating. And this is the trap that most of you are going to fall into right now. I care less about it, you know, in three or four days from now. I care more about you guys understanding, you know, over the next couple of days at least, get a, an idea of what your blood glucose actually is throughout the day and especially in the morning. Then we will take the time to implement particular strategies so that you guys see in real time how the things we've talked about literally now for 18 years affect this one measure. And we only have this one measure, it's blood glucose. We're not looking at insulin, we're looking at blood glucose. We're not looking at you know, your uh, cholesterol, we're not looking at triglycerides, we're, we're looking at one thing. But in this one measure, we get one of the major measures for metabolic dysfunction. So. By looking at this very closely, we will be able to see how certain foods and behaviors affect your blood glucose and therefore um, what's more than likely to be good for you over time by virtue of what these foods and these behaviors that you are or aren't doing is doing to your body. So you will see things like what happens if I don't move a lot during the day? What happens if I do move a lot during the day? What happens if I'm just vegging out on the couch for eight hours while I'm you know, eating crap you will you are going to see these things that we talked about with neat with um 
uh, um, fiber, with high protein diets, with fasting, with all these things, how they affect with strength training as opposed to cardio. We're going to explore a lot of stuff. So just for the first, I'm hoping that you guys do at least uh, five to seven days where you change nothing. Look at what's happening. And while that's going on, I'll be educating you guys on blood glucose, insulin, the factors that we're going to look at, why we're going to look at them. And over the course of 40 days um, in total, you guys will see that regardless of where you are with your blood glucose, if you're high, most of you are going to be slightly high, that 106, 108. Some of you may be higher, 115. You're going to see improvements in that over 40 days if you do what I'm telling. And it's not going to be things like, hey, look, I want you to eat you know, nothing all day and, and have a salad and then you know, tuna fish or whatever. I'm going to tell you guys, if you're willing to do nothing at all, just try to modify these behaviors when you eat. Try to do these little things and watch how it affects your blood glucose. They're going to be super practical tips. All right, everybody. I'm going to try to keep these videos to no more than 8 to 10 minutes because that's usually about how long people will listen to something. But if, as always, if you need more info, just text me. I'm here as your coach, as always. And, um, and I will often send... Uh, extra videos for you guys to watch or listen to from doctors or experts in the field, people who have done primary research. Um, it's up to you if you want to listen to it on topics that I'll be covering. All right, guys, have a great rest of the day.